There are many forms for the equation of a straight line in two dimensions, but there are two that involve vectors, and we're going to have a look at those now. R dot n is a constant. R is the vector from the origin to a general point on the line, so that's from here to here, right click, create a vector. OK, that's a general point on the line. Now what about 2 minus 3? Well, 2 minus 3 is the normal vector, is that right? This straight line is 3 to the right and 2 up, so the normal vector will be 2 to the right and 3 down. So that's correct. So I'm just going to select this point here and right click, go vector, 2 to the right and 3 down. Now is it just a coincidence that those numbers 2 and minus 3 are the coefficients of the implicit form for this straight line 2x minus 3y? Well it's not and you can certainly explore that in more detail and of course this translates perfectly to the three-dimensional case. Now uh, so why is it that r dot n is a constant? Well if you look at the algebraic form of this 2x minus 3y is indeed the equation of this straight line and the answer is 6. So that works very nicely. The other version of the dot product, of course, is this length times this length times the cosine of the angle between them. Well, this length times the cosine of this angle is this distance here, which is constant. doesn't matter where this is, you get the same answer. So that's a very nice way of showing that this is indeed a vector form for that straight line. Now, the other form is xy. Um, is the general point on the line. 3, 0, I've just chosen a point here as 3, 0, plus lambda times this vector which represents the direction of the line, 3 along and 2 up. So if I select this point and this vector, I can do, do a multiply vector using a constant lambda. Now Alt L puts lambda in, or you can use the keyboard. Well, let's use the keyboard because we haven't used it in this one yet. Extra, I'm going to put in lambda. There it goes. Now lambda will be 1 to start with. Now if I use the constant controller I can uh, play around with the value of lambda and I can reduce it down for example and there you can see that for different values of lambda we are indeed getting all the points along that straight line. So how does all this translate into three dimensions? In the three dimensional case I've got a plane here exactly the same equation as we had in two dimensions. I've simply put three points on. I'm going to select two of them at a time and right click create a vector. I'm going to deselect, select two of them at a time and right click create a vector. So if I add these two vectors together I should get another point on the plane add vectors and indeed I do. In fact I can define any point on this plane by a linear combination of these two vectors which is why the equivalent, the 3D equivalent of this is a point plus a linear combination of two vectors in order to get the direction of the plane which is why right click if I ask for the vector equation of a plane, a point and the linear combination of two vectors and the r dot n equals constant version is just the same. Here is the origin. The vector I've created down here is, is 2 minus 3, 0. Just check that that is indeed the case. 2 minus 3, 0 it is. This is a general point on the plane. And if I join a vector from here to here, then that is the vector r. And r dot n is a constant by exactly the same trigonometry that we were doing over here. So there we are. That's a nice introduction, I think, to straight line equations in two dimensions and the plane equation in three dimensions using vectors. Mm -hmm.